Now, time lapses are just inherently cool. They look cool regardless of what you're time lapsing. You can watch water dry on concrete. Probably not paint dry, that wouldn't be very cool. But if you want the extra cool time lapses, you generally have to put some effort in like I'm doing now and hike up a hill with some kit. What is this kit? All will be revealed in just a minute, but it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be very, very cool. So we are here at the spot. This is what all the fuss is about, walking. And the reason we're here with this equipment is because time lapses, as I said, are inherently cool. But you know what's even cooler than a time lapse? And that is a motion lapse, my friend. A moving time lapse. So I've got a slider here. This is overkill. This is like, I'm not saying you need to bring this on your time-lapse shoots with you. A handheld gorilla pod is perfectly fine, but when you want to take things to the next level, there may be a mobile version of this. I don't know, but this is my slider. This is what I happen to have and use, and I'm gonna use it. Now this is the shot. Take a look at my screen recording. So this is my B point, and over here is my A point. I want to start over here. I've got the slider set to to move the phone as you can see so it's gonna go like that as it progresses and I want to start over here on the pier just in case something happens halfway it fails at least the first half of the time lapse is with the most beautiful part of this scene so I'm gonna wait for it to get to the end and I'm not gonna be using 30 frames at intervals of half a second I'm going to be using a lot more frames than that probably going to take 40 minutes let's see what it's going to be so i'm going to use I've, I've used my level as well to make sure that it's straight i tried some of these the other day in preparation for this and i noticed that if i didn't make sure that the time lapse was straight all the way through the move it just didn't look right so i'm using the level in relapse to make sure that it's it's well level and I'm gonna have a look at some frames. I'll set my intervals first. I want intervals of two seconds and I want motion blur all throughout those two seconds. And let's see how many frames I need to achieve a good length time lapse. I'm looking for like at least 15, 20 seconds. So yeah, when like 18, 45 minutes we're looking at for this time lapse. So I'm gonna take advantage of relapses, power save feature. I'm gonna make sure my phone is in power save mode as well, which is over the here, there we go. And I'm gonna save energy, please. So come back and in terms of exposure, keep yourself probably maybe minus I don't see any sun coming out anytime soon, but if it does, then the exposure can little compensate for that a little bit. Um, if it was, if the weather was changing a lot, I would leave it in auto and trust it's going to respond because it's it's got like it's it's a tone mapped video, so it will respond to it well. So manual focus, set that, set the white balance. I do not that I do not want that to shift, and everything else is looking good maximum resolution only thing left to do now is start the slider and start the time lapse okay 45 minutes later and here we are i am dying to see what this looks like so let us have a look over here okay moment of truth Wow. And that is not a move you can get in post. You can't get that parallax in, in post. You could you could punch in and pan across artificially, but you can't get that that tilt. Oh, I'm wow, I need to watch this again. That was that was well worth the wait. And the time the time actually passed quite fast. Got the cable cars, the clouds. I'm sure once I get to the computer, I'll be able to see the people moving around town as well. 
brilliant. Well worth it. So speaking of motion, we're now on the cable car and I'm trying a hyperlapse technique. So I've got my handheld gimbal here. It's an Osmo Mobile 3. It's a, quite an old generation of gimbal now, so you could probably pick one up really reasonably. Really great gimbal. And what I'm doing, I've got my frames doing intervals of half a second. I've got 450 frames over seven and a half minutes should be should give me a time lapse of 15 seconds and I'm using the grid and the level to keep the phone roughly in the same position throughout the whole journey because I might not notice it but the gimbal can and probably will drift and I'm just using because I'm going to go over a hill now so I've just moved it down that little movement I did there is probably going to look really janky because I'm trying to talk to you and watch it at the same time so I'm just going to concentrate on my time lapse now forgive me I'm not being rude <laughs> and I'll see you on the other side <laughs> 